Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the card rule of science. So we are going to use these rules to determine how many real zeros are there in a polynomial function, how many positive real zeros, and how many negative real zeros. So let us start. Suppose that f of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus the ellipse sign plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 is a polynomial function with real coefficients. So let's say we have a polynomial function that arrange from its degree from highest to lowest. That's why we have n, n minus 1 as the exponent. And of course, we have the constant term. So in the Descartes rule of signs, if this is our case, the number of positive real zeros of polynomial functions f of x or negative real zeros of polynomial functions f of negative x is either equal to or or less than by an even integer the number of the of variations in the signs of terms so look at that we're going to check the number of variations in the signs of terms so that is very important we're just focusing on the number of variations that the sign changes so to better understand let's have this example we're going to find how many positive real zeros and how many negative real zeros. When we say real zeros, uh, we're just talking to the real ones, not the imaginary. Okay? So f of x is equal to negative 5x raised to 4 plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. So our exponent is arranged from highest to lowest. Now we're going to find the positive real zeros. Let's first find the positive real zeros for the f of x. So how many sign changes we have? So variations from negative to positive, that's one, negative to positive. The second is positive to negative, second, and last, negative to positive, third. So there are three variations in our sign. So one, two, three. Therefore, here in the given, we have three positive real zeros. Okay. So in our graph, since we are dealing with the Cartesian plane, the cards, so if we're going to check from the positive numbers, we have three positive real zeros. That can be three. Or, take a look in our condition, or less than by an even integer. So three less than two. So three minus two, we have one. So our final answer is there are three positive real zeros For the final answer, there are three or one positive real zeros. Why we have one here? Because we're going to less an even integer, which is two. Next. So there are at least three or one. So if we're going to graph. So it touches our x-axis 3 or 1. Oh, that's, that's on how to use the Descartes rule of sign. How about if we're going to find the negative real zeros? So negative real zeros. So we're going to find the f of negative x. So we're going to substitute negative x to our x. So negative 5, negative x raised to 4. 
plus 4 negative x raised to 2 minus 2 negative x plus 1 so we have negative 5 negative x raised to 4 that will give us positive raised to 4 plus 4 negative squared that will give us positive x so we can remove the parenthesis and also with this one so negative 5x raised to 4 plus 4x squared negative times negative that will give us positive 2x and copy the constant which is 1 now let us check the number of variation so we have negative to positive so it only changes once so there is only one negative real zeros only changes one so there is one real negative real zeros so that's on how to use the the card rule of sign another example and now let's have the following examples we're going to test or to determine how many positive real zeros and how many negative real zeros using the Descartes rule of sign. So first step, let's check the variation of the sign changes. So number two, age of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 18x plus 7. So let's check the variation. We have from positive to negative, that's 1. Positive to negative, negative to negative. Let's not change our sign. Then negative to positive, we have second. The second variation. So here we have two real zeros. Now less by an even integer. So two minus two, we have zero. So we have two or zero positive real zeros. Now, how to check the negative real zeros? So we're going to get the age of negative x. 3 negative x cubed minus 4 negative x squared minus 18 negative x plus 7. 3 so we have negative x cubed that will give us negative. So we have negative 3x cubed. Negative times negative times negative. That is negative. Now we have negative 4. Negative x raised to 2 or negative x times negative x. That will give us positive x times the negative. Still we have the negative 4x squared. Negative times negative that is positive 18 x then copy positive 7 now check the variation we have negative to negative so our giant our sign did not change we have negative to positive okay. so we only have one variation so for the negative one is there is one negative real zeros Now let's have our example number three. Check the sign, the variation of sign changes. We have positive to negative, that's one. Negative to positive, that's the second. Then positive to negative, the third. So we have three variations of sign. Less less our even integer which is 2 so 3 or 1 positive real zeros and for the negative real zeros so I just change x um, let's get g of negative x so we have 5 
negative x raised to 5, minus 2, negative x raised to 4, plus 3, negative x cubed minus 7, negative x minus 3. So we have negative 5x raised to 5, negative 2x raised to 4, negative 3x cubed, positive 7x, and negative 3. So we have negative to positive and positive to negative. So we have two variations, plus 2, even, which is 2, so 2 minus 2, or 0, negative, real zeros. So there are 2 or 0 negative real zeros. So that's the application of our Descartes rule of sign. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.